Hello and welcome to Friday's bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic and this is the edition every week where I tackle the Times Cryptic Crossword. We do it every Friday. Um, I do it live, I try and talk through exactly what I'm thinking and today is a day where I can tell you we need to be afraid. Well, specifically I need to be afraid. Um, two reasons. The snitch rating today is monstrous. The snitch is the unofficial rating of difficulty for the Times crossword. Today's puzzle is indicated by the snitch to be the hardest in well over a year. Um, now, not only that, but when you get the 12 time Times crossword champion dropping you an email just before you turn on the webcam saying, be afraid, be very afraid, <laughs> then you know we're in for trouble. Um, anyway, I will get to the puzzle in a moment or two's time. I would like to just flag a couple of things. Uh, if you do enjoy our crossword content, there's extra crossword content available on our puzzle puzzle club, which is over on Patreon. I'll try and remember to put a link on the screen. You basically go to Patreon, it's a couple of bucks a month. There's all sorts of extra crossword videos over there, including Mark's solve of the monthly times special puzzle, which is a very, very difficult cryptic crossword indeed. Uh, whether it's as difficult as today's crossword is moot. Um, um, but the other thing which may interest some of you is that Mark and I are actually appearing at the Stratford Literary Festival this year on the 27th of um, October. Let me show you a little flyer so you can see here. Now we're going to be doing a Sudoku edition, so it's not going to be a crossword edition, um, but, but we're going to be doing a live episode of Cracking the Cryptic with a Q&A afterwards, um, 10 o'clock in the morning. Tickets are scarce. Uh, I will tell you that I, I, I had thought that the venue was going to be larger than it indeed turns out to be. So if you are interested, please don't miss out. Um, grab your tickets as soon as you can. And hopefully we may meet there. Anyway, with that said and done, let's have a look at um, Let's have it now. It's the, I will have a look at the quick cryptic if there's time, but this video might be a long one. Oh, have I got my dictionary? Yes, I've got a dictionary. So uh, let's get cracking. Here we go. <laughs> let's see what this is. Let's see what we shall see. Internet's working. Okay. Grand made a tidy sum kept at home. Grand made a tidy sum kept at home. I don't know. I mean, as usual, remember that these clues can be read as mathematical equations and they always include, um, you know, something that equals. They always include a quick crossword definition. So the better you get at these puzzles, the more you can reduce them, I suppose, to a quick cross quick crossword. Um, now, normally the definition is at the start or the end of the clue. And there are various tricks we can use to try and work out which side of the clue is the definition. One way is to try and look at the clue mathematically and see which words are indicating moving other words around. So a word like kept here. Kept, if a word keeps another word, to me, in a cryptic way, it means it includes it within it. So I have you kept as likely to be part of the word play. At home, a short synonym, if you're at home, you're in. So can we think of a six letter word which means made a tidy sum? Uh, no, <laughs> I think there is something in the back of my mind, but I can't think what it is. I think the whole thing might mean grand. Uh, I, I'm not getting it. OK, let's try another one. A position with game in front of it. Uh, a position is a stance. I don't know what that is. Short synonyms for games. One that comes up occasionally, which you may not know, and, and is absolutely ludicrous, is are you? And you may say, Woo, what's that got to do with games? A very good question. But are you in cryptic crossword land is an abbreviation for rugby union. Uh, and, and remember, all 
abbreviations have to be justified by the dictionary. So here we go. RU is actually the Republic of Burundi. You will never see that in the Times crossword. That is considered too obscure. <laughs> but you may see rugby, you may see rugby union or a reference to rugby union, which I mean this so this could involve RU, but I, I don't know what it is. Uh, let's try another one. Open prison was satisfactory. Open prison was satisfactory. Okay, I've got one. <laughs> I, feel, I feel a sense of triumph. Um, so again, what we have to do here is exactly what we were. I was trying to do unsuccessfully in one across. We have to decide which side of the clue is the definition. And it to hit here, to be honest, it is not easy. But I thought of a short synonym for the phrase was satisfactory, and that gave me the answer. So can you think of a three letter word which means was satisfactory? If something was satisfactory, it did, it did the job. Now, so if, if was satisfactory means did, which side of the clue is the definition? Well, it's the other side, open. So we probably need a word that means open that probably ends with did. Well, candid is the answer. And a prison, slangly, is a can. Um, so candid, we are away. Let's try uh, six down. Third man. Well, Adam, Eve. Wasn't Cain the elder brother, though? Hmm. Maybe Abel. I thought it was Cain. I thought Abel was the younger brother. I was wondering whether the third man in existence in a biblical sense might have been Abel. But... Um, uh, but obviously that's wrong. Anyway, third man shares cell with fat old philosopher and lover. A lover, in an artistic sense, is an ascete. Oh, which is too many letters. Bobbins. Um, that was going back to the chance of Sinar for those of you who watch those streams. Um, third man shares cell with fat old philosopher and All right, if Abel was the third man, was there a, for a philosopher called Abelard? I bet there wasn't, but, there, but the reason that appeals to me, ju just purely from a wordplay perspective, is that if we have Abel and the word lard, which does mean fat, sharing a cell, sharing this, this cell here, then that would give Abelard which I vaguely think is a, is a name I've heard of, but I don't know where from. I, I really like that as, an, as a sort of, I really like it as a way of deconstructing the wordplay. So I'm gonna leave it, but I'm very prepared to take it out. Let's see, in fact, let's see if we can justify the D. A beneficiary, a donee, agreed. Yeah, if something is agree, agreed, it's done. And the judge's conclusion is the conclusion to the word judge. So it's the last letter of the word judge, that's E. So one thing you have to get better at if you're new to these puzzles or you're likely to have to get better at is it's so easy to read judge's conclusion and think, oh, that's the that's the summary at the end of a verdict, you know, at the end of a court, um, a court hearing. No, 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 no. These constructors are going to try and mislead you all the time and conjure up images in your brain of situations. So judge's conclusion, you immediately picture someone in a wig at the front of the court, giving a, you know, giving a sentence, pronouncing guilty or innocent, etc. No, 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 no. Ignore all the romance. <laughs> Just stick to what you're told to do. And you may find it, it helps you. Seven down. US drug agency officer isn't that a narc or something u.s drug agency officer sold drugs oh, sold drugs a u.s drug agency the d the department for department for drugs so there are loads of u.s agencies that have short abbreviations and i 
I want this to mean sold drugs, dealt. DEA. Why did I, I almost said DEA before? An officer is a lieutenant, yeah, or a lieutenant if you prefer that pronunciation. So the DEA, what does that stand for? The Department for the DEA, Drug Enforcement Agency. That's what it stands for. Right, I'm going to look, I, I'm not changing DEA, uh, DELT, so I'm going to look up DEA. Drug Enfor oh, Drug Enforcement Administration, so nearly. Okay, so that's going to be correct. Let's look at eight now. Tiles. I'm immediately thinking of Scrabble. That's not going to help. Tiles. Hopefully all toppling in old cupolas or cupo cupola. Old cupolas nets. What? What? Tiles hopefully. What? Tiles hopefully all toppling. In old cupolas nets. Uh, I don't know what this is, but part of me is making me think, part of my brain is shouting there's a hidden or there's an anagram here some, somehow. I don't understand why anybody would use the word cupola <laughs> and they're absolutely forced to. Um, all toppling. Is a cupola like a dome? Tiles. Uh, tiles, hopefully. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't understand that clue at all. I'm going to look at 12 across. Frugal bath. <laughs> Immediately that conjures up an image of sort of a, a bath with not much water in it. Frugal bath was running little time to fill that okay well that feels like if a bath is running again don't think of the water flowing into the bath think about what a word might do if it was running or the letters of a word they might be moving around mightn't they so is 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 this an anagram bath and then a short word for time to fill that anagram with the whole thing meaning frugal Um, well, I've thought of a different, I've thought of a word that means frugal, that fits here, but I can't work it, or make it work with my anagram of bath. I've thought of the word Spartan. Yeah, okay. I think, well, bath spa is certainly a fresh uh, phrase I've heard, but I thought that was referring to the city of Bath. So I'm slightly surprised Bath has not got a capital letter there, but maybe there's another, maybe Bath can just mean spa, because then was running in the past tense, that would be defined as ran, wouldn't it? And then ran with a little time to fill that. Well, T, I've talked about this the last few weeks, T is an abbreviation for time, and that comes from, amongst other things, Newton's equations of motion. And mostly I can remember them. V equals U plus AT. S equals UT plus a half AT squared. Now, there's another one, isn't there? Or at least there, maybe there's two more. S equals... So what... V... Well, I can't remember. No, so Spartan. Spartan is right. Um, let's try nine down. Roman road. Oh, I mean, if this has Latin in it, that will immediately scupper me roman road say so few turns um yeah i have actually got this this is an anagram so if if, if letters turn they move don't they say so few is eight letters we need eight letters and i think there is uh the fossy way i don't know if it's fossy or foss way uh, i'm not changing that because i've i've seen that as a a thing that exists so let's look and see if it's there here we go and it doesn't give any pronunciation guidance but it does say Fossway so maybe it is just Fossway the Roman road that runs between Exeter and Lincoln any of the British Roman roads having a oh a Foss uh, it does look like it's just Foss doesn't it Fossway <laughs> okay um, well but the good thing about this two things that's good about this three things not only have I got the answer, that's thing number one, but I have some interesting checking letters with W and Y, that's number two. Also, W and Y is so weird. 
uh, in terms of letterage. I'm now wondering whether this might be a pangram. And if it's a pangram, a pangram means it contain, this puzzle might contain all the letters of the alphabet in its answers. And given the puzzle so difficult, that is not perhaps the most stupid thought ever. So maybe we need to look out for Q's, Z's, J's. Let's try. Is this Heathrow? No. <laughs> oh, tomorrow, another day, maybe. I don't know. Male depression. Sun leaves for another day. Male depression. A male is a tom, is in a... Yes, it's, that's right. A male is a tom, is in a tom cat, is a male cat. And then depression is sorrow. Uh, but if S for sun leaves the word sorrow, we get tomorrow. And tomorrow is another day. Literally. <laughs> um... Now, do we dare look at 10 across? At least it's got, at least it's broken up. My phone is going, that's fine. That's uh, not related to anything important. While original, a sermon's interminable. What's this, what's this word? Open or over? Overall? Isn't overall one word though? While original. A sermon's interminable. It goes on forever or something. If something's interminable. Um, what was this one? Oh, this was the one I didn't understand at all. I don't know. Let's try three down. Ending in O, look. Not very musical. Group soon releasing covers well soon releasing covers if you think of a word as having a cover like an album would have a cover wouldn't it uh, if you removed the album's cover you'd just be left with the inner piece the you know the record in the middle so i'm wondering if we take the s and the n away from the word soon and we get double o at the end not very Musical group, band. Yeah, now I've got this. All right, a, a weird musical group is a nonet, a piece for nine. Well, not nine musicians. And if you're none too something, uh, you're not very it, are you? He was none too clever. He was not very clever. So I'd like that. That's going to be correct. Um, now. Oh, where should we go? Let's try 14 down. Tri keep trying to use these checking letters. I haven't looked at 16 down either. Arabs during theology class. Well, theology class, I'm immediately thinking RE, re religious education, or RS, religious studies. Arabs can be horses. Convert to Catholicism. Romanize? Omanis. That's right. Omanis are, are Arabs. So we've got RE with Omanis in. And if you convert to Catholicism, you sort of become a Roman Catholic, you Romanize. Right, let's try this one. 20 across. Municipal ma mayor, mayoress. Municipal chairman's wife hiding diamonds in dressing gown. <laughs> Again, it conjures up an image which you immediately have to discard from your brain. Um... Municipal chairman, isn't that a mayor? Wife hiding diamonds in dressing gown. I don't know, that's a very strange clue. Chair, municipal. I mean, if it, if it, a chairman could be Chairman Mao? I don't know. Do I know any words for a dressing gown? I don't. Oh, if I do, they're not coming to my brain very quick. Let's try that one. Bloodthirsty character unusual for Austin. Mm, well... That feels like it's going, oh, is this is that, oh, is this is something like, like Nosferatu or something. I've seen this word before. I'm, I'm thinking it's an anagram of for Austin because that's nine letters and unusual is such a anagram indicator. 
is, there is some Nosferatu is or something like this. It's a weird word. N O A T U N O S. I think that is that is. Now, how might I have misspelt that? Nosferatu. I don't. I don't think it is that. Mayoress still fits. Okay, I'm not going to change that, but I am going to look it up then in the dictionary to try and um, because it's so such a weird one. It's not even in the dictionary. Okay, bloodthirsty character. So it must be from literature. Hmm, I don't know. I, I, in my brain, I think of it as like a demon, like Fistum of Hell, but I don't know. <laughs> that could be absolute nonsense, and apologies for my ignorance. Um, oh dear, I don't know where to go now, really. Should we try... 17 down would be a huge victory, wouldn't it? School dance, I arrange, almost, guaranteeing party. The ga Okay. I don't know what this is, but the guaranteeing party of a contract would be something like the Warren Tour or something. So could it be... So I'm wondering if guaranteeing party is the definition. Whereas look at the way the constructor has phrased the clue. It's beautiful. School dance I arrange almost guaranteeing party. We're, I, you know, we're thinking American pie, aren't we? There's going to be a party. So, <laughs> no, no, no. A guaranteeing party is something quite different. School dance is a ball. Or a bop. We used to have bops when I was at Cambridge. I was never very popular at bops. Um, school dance. <laughs> Brain's gone in a totally different direction now. School dance, I arrange. Almost. I. Guarantee. I think it is. I think it means guaranteeing party, but I don't know what it is. What's a word for I array? I order? No. <sighs> Disco? Could that be a school dance? Or is that just a general dance? I don't know. Um, where should we look? Have we looked at... We haven't looked at this. Unaware. Ignorant. Manifest includes lithium. Well, I've talked about this before, but the only part of this clue that gives me any hope we'll be able to solve it is that thinking of it from a mathematical equation point of view again, manifest includes lithium is pretty clear, isn't it? We need to think of a word that means manifest. And then that needs to include the chemical abbreviation from the periodic table for the element lithium, which is Li. So unaware... Uh, does it end in manifest? If you manifest, you appear, or something is obvious. Oblivious. Oh gosh, it's obvious. <laughs> That's so weird. Oblivious. Gosh. Um, yeah, obvious manifest, including li. So as long as one's while as long as one's original a sermon a sermon's interminable interminable as long as one's age or something as long as as while can mean as original original is a sermon oh, i don't know I'm not sure i want this to begin as long um but it might not let's try 11 across guest invitee wearing very informal well i think that is right isn't it a guest is an invitee if you're wearing something you're in it very can be abbreviated to v 
an informal sh shirt is a t-shirt t double e and that's on an abbreviation for island which happens to be i let's check um, i put it in the dictionary go to where the abbreviations are there island i so invitee will be right there if we looked at this one no send check finally well check finally is probably that e isn't it so after it's due oh. oh goodness me send after it's due uh, ah no i have got this i was thinking of it wrong wrongly um okay i was thinking that check finally was the letter e and then I read after it's due. So I thought, ah, OK, that's the E from check finally. And I need a four letter word, word which means it's due uh, at the start. So for the whole thing to mean send. But why don't we why don't we ignore that thought? Because it's wrong. <laughs> why don't we say check finally is E? Let's put E at start. If something is after it's due, it is late. And if I put that together, I get elate. And to elate is to is to send, it's to entrance, it's to put into a state of euphoria, isn't it? If you send someone, you entrance them. So in fact, let's just look at that because that is a slightly unusual meaning of the word send or, or sent. Um, da, 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 to grant, to rouse someone to ecstasy. There we go. So that's how, that's why elate is, is a synonym right let's go back to this can i put an i here for in kept at home and if i did can i now solve the clue grand no i was thinking splendid it's just not splendid is it <laughs> no that is not a splendid thought that is a stupid thought grand made a tie coined if you make a tidy sum you coin it no I mean, if it's a past tense, that's very likely to be a D, isn't it? So, I just need to think of something that fits here. An anointed? Grand? Made a tidy sum. Minted. Kept at home. Or ground, maybe it's grounded. If you keep someone at home, they're ground. Oh, 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 that's lovely. I've totally misled you about this one. It's brilliant. I, I really admire clues like this because, you know, I have been doing these puzzles for a, quite a while. I've totally misread this. So, we need to think about this completely differently. The definition was not grand. The definition was kept at home, um, as in grounded. Someone's been naughty, child's been naughty, they're grounded. Now, grand can be G, as in he made 10 G. He made 10 grand. And made a tidy sum is rounded, as in if you had an untidy sum, it would sort of end with loads of, you know, 0.76533 or something and then you would round it to make it a tidy sum that's very nice isn't it so grounded is going to be right now a position with game in front of it a position gambit a position I like the it at the end because then if I can think of why game would be gmb i can't think of why so i don't think that's right but uh, gambit and game obviously the queen's gambit a position oh actually that wouldn't work would it with my as long as idea my my no so if this was a Goalie?
game. That's it. I, oh, I mean, that's an Anlit. Wow. <laughs> you don't see many of these. Okay. Okay. That is a beautiful clue. Very, very unusual. So we need to spend a little bit of time talking about this because if you've been watching these videos for a while, this will not make sense. So uh, most clues I describe as having a the quick crossword definition at the start or the end of the clue. Now there are two, approximately two exceptions to that rule. One is where the whole thing is a cryptic definition. So you have to read the whole clue and just think about it in a weird way. And often that's indicated by a question mark at the end of the clue. That, that's not the, what's happening here. There is one type of clue, which is, I think it's, it's considered to be the sort of, you know, the absolute holy grail of great clues, is where you write a clue and the whole clue is the definition, as it would be in a cryptic definition, but also the whole clue is wordplay. So it's sort of, it's magical. It does both things at the same time. So let's read this. Now let's firstly try and read this sentence as a definition of the word goalie, i.e. a goalkeeper in football, a position with game in front of it. Well, that is the goalie. The goalie stands in goal and the game is played out in front of that position. So it is defining goalie. But how does it work from a wordplay perspective? Well, the game here is go. <laughs> and then a position is a lie. If you're in a particular place in, on the golf course, that's your lie. So a position is a lie and that the, and the game is in front of the lie or a lie. So go is in front of a lie giving goalie. So the whole thing does both jobs. Isn't that brilliant? It hasn't got us any further with this. As long as one's... As long as one's, well, as long as we're here, as long as, as long as one's arm. That's just, I've heard of that phrase, as long, I quite like that, as long as one's arm. I don't know really what it means. While original. While, as long as. Original A sermons. That's an anagram of A. One's arm is an anagram of A sermon. So we treat those letters in an original order. We put them in an original order. We get one's arm. And if something is interminable, it's as long as one's arm. Okay, so that's fine. We've got that. Is this demented? Oh gosh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, dominoes would fit for tiles. What? Okay, it might be dominoes. That's got domes around the outside. So, hopefully, all toppling in old Capola's nets. Oh, so tiles hopefully all toppling is a ref you know those domino rally things where you push the domino and then they all they all go off i like those but i think tiles hopefully all toppling therefore is is the definition of the answer which is so ludicrous and then in old is in it's this in old can be o and then a cupola which is cupola apostrophe s so dome apostrophe s is netting it's securing in o this is very hard but very beautiful we've actually done the top of the puzzle which is something of a surprise um now let's try and get 18 across small state broadcaster likely to fail small can be s um just that's from t-shirt labeling if you obviously if you see an s on a t-shirt label you'd know it meant small state broadcaster likely to fail sky is a broadcaster risky small state is rhode island 
and then sky is the broadcaster and if something is likely to fail it's risky now we've got a y at the start of 19 down new york or ny garden mature length as measured yard arm I don't know why my brain thinks yard arm there. Uh, <laughs> oh, what's going on? A length as measured. Yard. New York garden. Mature. Yardage. If you mature, you age. Yeah, okay, that's right. It's yardage. So. A New York garden, I think in America, your yard is your garden, isn't it? So you refer to a yard, and, and, and in England, a yard is is something much less beautiful than a garden. It would be concreted. Um, but New York garden, I think, is yard. And then mature, if you mature, you age. And length as measured is the yardage, often used in golf, in fact. So let's try this. Overrun? Sporran? <laughs> I'm guessing. Another golf club. Golf. Is this because the Selheim Cup starts to get today? Because we've had a few that have said had a golf reference. I thought I saw something. What did we see earlier that made me think of golf? I can't remember. Um, anyway, let's go back here. Golf club, R&A. In the south of France. The south of France is Sud, isn't it? S-U-D. Isn't that the French word for south? Republican applied to. Oh, no, no, this is going to be the name of a golf club, isn't it? It's one of those old golf clubs. Um, oh, I don't know actually now. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I was introduced to a rut iron the other day. That's not a golf club um, that many of you will be familiar with. But a friend of mine's actually started a YouTube channel called Rut Iron. I think it's called Rut Iron Hickory Golf or something. But if you look up Rut Iron Golf, it will be the only the only YouTube channel. Um, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm now digressing. But yes, my... My friend is a very fine hickory golfer, playing with, you know, old style clubs. And um, yeah, he, he likes Cryptic Cross. He may be watching this video. If you're watching this video, hello, Johnny. Um, golf club. I'm trying to think of the golf clubs he plays with. They're weird. They're, they're, I mean, they're completely unusable things. Um, Niblick. Uh, oh, well, it could be something iron, could it? Hmm, no, I don't know. My brain is just not telling me the answer to this, which is appalling. Naughty brain. And actually, this is an interesting one as well. Let me just come back to this for a moment, because if the answer to this clue is nothing to do with golf or golf clubs, this is an example of how a little knowledge is a terribly dangerous thing in cryptic crosswords, because I am reading this clue and it's conjuring up all of these images in my brain because I know a little bit about like weird golf clubs. And let's say that the answer to this clue is some type of ostrich. It's not helping me to go down this route. <laughs> Um, okay, anyway, let's go. Let's try 24 down. Current temperature lower than doctor provided. Well, hmm, I want this to be motif, believe it or not. And I'm getting motif entirely from the the wordplay. So temperature can be T. Temperature is lower than doctor. Well, doctor is a horrible thing in cryptic crosswords. I mean, let's talk about the word doctor, because if you doctor letters, you could anagram them, couldn't you? If you doctor something, you sort of change it, you adjust it. Um, but most often, doctor means one of its numerous two-letter abbreviations. Now, let's talk about what some of those are. GP, general practitioner. DR, literally doctor. MO, medical officer. Um, and I'm going to be missing out lots there, but there's just three immediately. 
But if doctor was a hit MO here, and then we had T for temperature, and if you said provided, you would mean if, wouldn't you? That would give motif. Now, is a current a motif? I thought of a, I think of a motif as being a musical theme. Now, current might have a meaning like that. Let's go back and look at my golf club again. Uh, club in the south of France, golf club. What is that talking about? In the south of France. Republican. Republican can be R, applied to. Applied to. On. That's most likely. I think apply if something is on something, it's applied to it, isn't it? So it looks like it's trying to be some sort of weird golf club. But what could the south of France be if it's I don't know, and that's this is all predicated on motif. Well, it's not predicated on it, but I'm thinking about it in the context of motif meaning current, which might be nonsense. Let's try 27. Desert lion scratching its back a bit. A bit is like some part of a horse's harness, isn't it? If you desert somebody, you rat on them. The name of a desert? Gobi, Sahara, lion scratching its back. Lion, Leo, Simba, Cat. I mean, scratching its back. Obviously, the image that's conjured up is a lion scratching its back. But the way I read the clue cryptically is I need a word for a lion. And then I'm going to scratch. I'm going to remove its back letter. So what was Elsa? Wasn't Elsa a lion? De oh, oh, desert lion. Maybe there's a... Maybe a desert lion is a... I don't know. A bit. Somewhat. I See, I don't... I really don't like motif at the moment. Like it's not helping, is it? One wound up in the tower, perhaps. Grandfather clock. <laughs> Um, one wound up I mean that just does scream you know something you would wind up right I mean obviously the clue again is trying to come up conjure up an image of somebody getting madder and madder in, in the Tower of London um I want this to be something. I want this to be a reference to a clock somehow. I'm just doing appallingly. This this bottom right is vicious. Let's try this one. Be opposite to, oppose, adverse. But somehow inside ship. Ship is an interesting one from a cryptic crossword. I mean, there are loads and loads of words for, and short synonyms for ships. Um, but the most common is probably SS. The SS. I don't know. My mind went to under Milkwood then. And then I was trying to remember the name of the SS Kinwelly or something. Um, uh, be opposite to. But somehow, inside ship. Now, if it was SS, then we'd get an S in 22 down. Bond after the first Christmas present. That's a, such a good clue, isn't it? Bond cohere. After the first Christmas, if you're present, you're here. After, why is CO after the first Christmas? Uh, I 
Oh, I'm on the verge of that one, I think. After the first Christmas. I don't know. Okay, let's. We're getting very stuck at the bottom, aren't we? Um, let's try 21 down. <laughs> Pictish tribe, come on. Okay, I mean, that must be a hidden. Is it rebirth? Thank goodness it is. Because you can't use Pictish tribe and expect it to. Uh, it must be an anagram or a, a hidden. Because. Pictish. I mean, who would ever use the word Pictish? There are no tribes that were Pictish. I don't. Well, there probably were, but they're being expected to know what they are. I think is a different thing. So there's one of these in almost every Times crossword, and that is a clue where the answer is literally spelt out uh, in the in the in the clue. Um, but don't forget, where there are such clues, the instruct the constructor still has to tell you that the answer is hidden. So. What we've got here is a string of letters, Pictish tribe retreated. And the constructor says they have to be northwards. Now this is a down clue. So if we treat this string of letters in a northerly direction, we turn them upside down and we would find that they are embracing. So embracing is telling us it's a hidden, a, w a f word or a phrase that means fresh start. And if you look inside, you can see R-E-B-I-R-T-H, rebirth. Well, that's certainly a fresh start, isn't it? So this looks like Mare S, but I'll come back to that in a minute. Now, be opposite to, but somehow. Oh, is it subject or something? But somehow feels like an anagram of... But to me. <laughs> uh... Sub, but somehow that would be that inside ship. So I need a four letter word for a ship blank E blank blank. And the whole thing means be opposite to. So sub something probably. Um, subtend? If you ship something somewhere, do you send it there? I almost like that. I mean, I've never heard that before. But subtend, maybe. I'm unsure. I'm unsure, <laughs> just as I was unsure about Abelard. But Abelard was, was done by the checking letter. So have I looked at this one? No, no. A feathered hat. It's surprising. King wears like that. Um, I mean, I think this is going to be the name of a feathered hat, which is a worry. It's surprising. King. Uh, I want that to be something like, ooh. <laughs> if, some, if you said it's surprising, you might go, ooh, or my, or... Um, so I think it's some exclamation for it's surprising. And then king, king is annoying. King can be K from uh, chess scoring. It can be R because Rex is the Latin word for king. And then R can be abbreviated. Rex can be abbreviated to R. Um, and that, so it's going to be something like OK, wearing like that. Now, if something is like that, it's so. So I quite like the thought that this is something like this. So I reckon that's more likely to be a K. And then this is going to be something like Suiko or, su or Suko or... It depends what the exclamation is. It's surprising. Or it could be R, couldn't it? Like Sarko. Oh, God. I mean, it's... Basically, we have to get this letter, I think to have a good chance of guessing what this exclamation is because oh hang on oh my brain shako shako is a hat i didn't know it's a feathered hat there's a shako is a hat ha it's surprising yeah maybe ha means it's surprising shako i like that i think i would go for that fairly confidently actually so is this something staircase Whoa, yeah, 
So, oh, spiral. Oh, that kills motif then. One wound up in the tower, perhaps. Well, I think that's referring to something that winds as you go up in a tower. So the perhaps is because a spiral staircase, you could have a spiral staircase in a house. It doesn't have to be in a tower. It's just, it's just that the surface reading is lovely with the use of tower. Because it sounds like somebody's been sent to the Tower of London. They've been locked up. Whereas actually it's simply referring to something that winds up an actual tower. So I think, right, this is bad, because motif is therefore nonsense, I think. I think this is spiral staircase. Um, so advent would fit here. Add here? Bond? If you adhere to something, you, you attach to it. After the first. Is, is this some sort of reference to Advent as in, you know, Advent calendar? Oh, I don't know, actually. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. It's Ad here. Right, after the first Christmas, that's lovely. It's so obvious once you read it properly. I'm so silly. I'm so stupid. Sorry. After the first Christmas, well, it, it's literally referring to the, for the birth of Jesus. So, before Christ, BC, AD, Anno Domini is after the first Christmas, after the first birth. So, AD is after the first Christmas. If you're present at something, you're here. Or well, the present is the here and now, isn't it? Add here is to bond. That's brilliant. So what's this then? Something house? Oh, stock structure of company, which people exploit. Hot house? Stock. Structure of company, which people exploit. It's some, I think this might be cow house a stock structure is a cow house a stock your stock if you're a farmer is is your um stock can refer to sort of farm animals can't it so the way i've got this is from the word play so a stock structure i think might be a cow house company is co uh which people if you said which people did this you would be saying who did this so who and if you exploit something you use it so cow house looks good. Now, can we justify mayoress here? Municipal chairman's wife hiding diamonds in dressing gown. I'm going to put mayoress in. I don't understand it at all. So we. So I'm not leaving it there. Um, why? Wife hiding diamonds. Di diamonds can be D from obviously suits of cards, you know, clubs, hearts, diamonds, spades. Um, Chairman Mao. Chairman's wife. Is that Mao? Mao or may, maybe no the definition if this is mayoress the definition must be municipal chairman's wife mustn't it and then we're hiding diamonds in dressing gown <laughs> Mayo dress. Oh, our dressing is mayo, mayonnaise. Oh, that's it. Oh, it's brilliant. I'm so, I'm being slow today, but that is right. Um, 
So D is diamonds. But the dressing gown, it, it, this is again, it's so hard for me to read dressing gown in the correct way. So I read it as dressing gown <laughs> because it, that's what it says and I know what a dressing gown is. But that's totally not how we're meant to read this. We have to read the, the dressing separate from the word gown. And once we read the word dressing, we can think of a sauce. That's a dressing as in mayonnaise, mayo. So this is mayo for the dressing. And then the gown is the dress, D-R-E-S-S, -S, from which the diamonds have been removed, the D. So that's why mayoress is correct. Okay, good. So now, oh, but look, okay, well, no, we have. We've got more to do now. We can go back to motif. Current temperature. Lower than doctor provided. Current is the drift. Yeah. Okay, so we've got DR for doctor, not MO. <laughs> we've got DR, provided is if. T, temperature, being lower than the DR and the if, that gives drift and drift is current. Okay, so what on earth is this then? I haven't got a golf. South of Clark, France is sued then, is it? Maybe sued. Maybe it can be sued. Maybe it can be spelt with an e. Sued a suderon for a for a golf club. No, I mean I can't. I have been playing golf all my life. <laughs> I consider myself to be relatively knowledgeable about the game. I've never heard of a suderon. God, I mean, that is so, that's just incredibly humbling. If that is S-U-D-E-R-O-N, and that is a golf club. Well, let's look at this then. School dance, I arrange. Yeah, okay, I, I don't know what this is still, but I arrange almost. If you arrange something, you sort it, don't you? So why couldn't that be end in I, S-O-R? And that feels very nice for a word, word for a guaranteeing party, like a promise or A prom is a school dance. There we go. Ah, okay. Mid-iron then. Midi. Okay, well, that's probably fine. A mid-iron. I mean, a mid-iron, I would always spell that as two words. But, and I would always have thought South of France was S-U-D, but maybe Midi can also mean South of France. I thought Midi would be Middle of France. <laughs> but I like Mid-Iron, at least I've heard of it. Okay, now is this rather? A bit is rather. Rat. Oh, see, I was really put off by putting motif in here. I even said, I know her when I... So lion is a lion is a hero, scratching its back. Remove the O at the end, and we get rather. So there we go. That is what I would submit. Very difficult, but fascinating. Oh, and subtend. Well, subtend I think is probably right because at here I'm very confident about now. There's so much cleverness in this. In fact, we'll, we'll submit without the leaderboard because I certainly wasn't racing. And let's. Um, There we go, it's correct. Well, well, well. So now let's have a quick look at some of these words. So shako. It doesn't even say feathered, does it? I think I'm sure it said feathered in the clue. Feathered hat. A tall, nearly cylindrical military cap. Oh, with a plume, so it does say it. Sorry, I didn't get to the end of the definition. Shako as well. Um and subtend. B to the to be opposite to. Oh, it's a hypothesis, a mathematical phrase. Oh, I never knew that. Okay. Um, let's check the spelling of mid iron, which I would have definitely said. Oh, no, there it is. It's one word. Um, okay, which other ones do we have to. Goalie was fantastic. Abelard, I don't think that will be in there because that must be a proper, proper name. 
Abelard. But do a full text search. No, full text search, but it yields nothing. Um, spiral staircase, cow house, rebirth, Nosferatu. I mean, there's a lot here. <laughs> That's not straightforward. The Foss Way. Ah, oh, it's wonderful though, isn't it? I love puzzles like that. I love puzzles. Shane, if you're listening, more like that, please. Um, anyway, let's let's now try and redeem myself in terms of time by having a quick look at the, hopefully a quick look at the quick cryptic. Here it is. So I'm, this is the one I'll race on. Um, I won't say much. I'll just see if I can get this done quickly. Here we go by Asp. Courageous animals hunted for sport. Prey? No. I don't know. One who likes to eat a portion of anything. Our man doesn't. Omnivore? I don't know. Um, make fun of practice examination. Oh dear, this isn't going very well. Role model is generous, putting four egg. Role model is an a generous is ample, so that's example. Person fleeing is an emigre. Anagram. Satiric actor cast anagram again. Uh, Aristocratic, probably. Not sure about the ending. Precisely identify purpose of uh, pinpoint, a point of the pin. What may be used by anglers to release river fish, eels, reels without its R. Like offer of university place with no unconditional. Go. Okay, so let's try that one. English king, queen, for if you err, seven down, popular period at home is boring. Isn't that interminable? Didn't we just have something like that? Um, in the other one, uh, what's that one again? Make fun of a mock. A mock is a practice exam, of course. Silly Simon. Courageous game. If you're courageous, your game. Oh, this isn't omnivore. Oh, a gourmet, a gourmet or a gourmand or something. Oh, it's hidden. It's actually hidden. I didn't spot it. Detest a poor. ABH, yeah. Okay, distressed asset mostly hidden by firm. Uh, hairless? I, want, I think that might be hairless. I'm not sure. A spiritual figure beginning to dither and shiver. Un, uh, dervish, a whirling dervish. Gosh, that's not hairless. Um, enthusiastic male interested in culture. Arty, he and Arty. Be retiring, live for some time. Ah, oh, reversed. Aristocratic. It does look like aristocratic, doesn't it? Um, What's that one? Great book, emotive or something. That's weird that I could get that, but I think that's right. Part of Somerset, uh, that's ether, ethereal. It's a hidden again. What's this, Ratch? Wretch. Uh, worthless support, I want that to be stay, but it's not. It's a well, if you're healthy, you're well. Um, that's an anagram. Refusing to submit to authority. Uh, I don't know. Argument leads to tear. Uh, tiff is an argument. Leading letters. Uh, that fidgety. That's an amlet. Um, so what was this one then? Distressed. Asset mostly hidden by firm. Distressed. Harrowed. Asset. Ha oh, harassed. It actually is the word. So what's this then? Insubordinate. Um, okay. Base. Wow. That, was, that wasn't easy, was it? Well, I didn't think it was easy. Um, but I rarely do when I'm doing those live. Let's see. It is right. Tenth. Not terrible. I was giving a little bit of commentary. I might have been able to shave a couple of seconds, which might have actually got me up the leaderboard. Um, but um, yeah, very, very good fun. Um, and super puzzles today. Both super puzzles. 
Um, thank you very much if you're still watching. It's a long video, but it was it is you know it is a difficult one. Um, and if you enjoy these videos, these times crossword videos, please do drop a comment in, maybe like and subscribe. Um, it really helps the algorithm to learn that these puzzles are wonderful and wonderful things to learn how to do. That's what I think anyway. Um, anyway, we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.